My name is Liz McClure and I am an Omer. My name is Brandon and I am an Omer. Odyssey of the Mind to me is a um, creative problem solving competition which allows students to think outside the box and solve problems in a unique way using teamwork. Odyssey of the Mind is a fun get together to uh, use creativity skills to show uh, creativeness and encourage broader thinking. Odyssey of the Mind is a creative problem solving competition. It has two components, a long term problem and uh, the spontaneous component. The long term problem being um, a project that teams will work on, you know, three to four months um, of effort put into this single project and they'll present in front of a panel of judges uh, for you know seven to eight minutes to demonstrate their solution and that solution can be anything. So teams may have to build a vehicle to travel from one destination to another and accomplish certain things. A vehicle may have to dance with one of the teammates. A vehicle may have to shoot a basketball. There's other problems like the technical problem which may involve building a Rube Goldberg device or making something that's normally inanimate become animated. There's the classics problem which you know, challenges teams to research some element of classical art or architecture or literature and incorporate elements of that into a realistic um, skit. Um, there's the balsa wood problem where teams build a structure that weighs less than a pound that supports more than a thousand pounds. And there's the performance problem that really challenges teams to delve into their artistic or creative nature and, and create just an awe-inspiring performance. Our problem that we did for seven years uh, through middle school and high school involved building a structure made only of balsa wood. Um, it could weigh no more than 15 grams, some years 18 grams, uh, and had to hold as much weight as possible. And some teams actually held uh, well over a thousand pounds. Um, while we were uh, loading weight onto the structure, the other component to the long-term problem uh, was that the rest of the team had to be performing a, a creative skit um, on the topic for that year. Um, so there's a lot of creativity needed um, to build out the props, uh, write the script, and then perform and deliver um, on, on that performance. Um, spontaneous is a problem presented to the teams on the day of competition. And they have you know, three minutes to solve a problem presented to them, and it's anything from you know, just naming things that are blue and having to be creative and coming up with answers to that or creating a structure out of, you know, something that MacGyver would see on a TV show. In my year as a coach, there were just so many great memories, um, one of which involved a kid gluing himself to the vehicle, one of which involved me teaching that same kid to use a saw. But I think, you know, overall the most the element of coaching that was so enjoyable was just seeing the change in the kids over the months in which they participated. I believe that the students learn how to problem solve, how to work in a group, um, which will later in life help them to achieve their goals in you know, post-secondary education, in their job, in their life. Um, a lot of them, it brings them out of a shell that they were in uh, to learn how to speak publicly and to share what they believe in or what, how they want something done. Favorite memory was probably performance time when we got to just show all the judges in the audience what we had spent so much time on.